excuse me, the last hope for the Ironman here, and it's going to take a, you know, Kevin, you don't expect them to come back from nine runs down, but you'd like to see them if you're Coach Hevner and, and, and the Ironman faithful to at Put least, together a couple of yeah, hits. Yeah, and get somebody on base after they've. Uh, show some signs of life here. Their only hit today has been a little slow chomper to the third baseman. And uh, they've, they've hit two hard balls today that I've counted. And uh, one right at the shortstop, one right at the center fielder. But other than that, the Ironmen have been off balance. And, uh, mm -hmm. and they've even been called, called out for stepping out of the box one time today. So uh, it's not been their day at the plate. First pitch was a strike. Now the second pitch appears to be taken for a ball. One and one. I'm not going to give you anything solid. <laughs> No, I haven't been totally sure all day with the home plate umpire. No, we got to wait till he calls the signal to see what. <laughs> one one's fouled down the first base side. Chesley Wallace makes the play. The barehanded snag <laughs> over there. Throws it back into the pitcher. One and two now the count. Ironman decked out. If you're listening on the radio, I know on TV you can see decked out in their black uniforms, gray pants, blue pinstripes, gray numbers. One, two to Wilkerson, swing and a miss. Get they're going to have to throw it, and ooh, and actually, almost got I'm, there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm giving you the wrong name. We had a pinch hitter in. We didn't realize it was Casey Buff oh, okay. in there pinch hitting, and he is down on strikes. The two to three put out completes the strikeout, and Buff is retired. Zach so. McNeely is back. He's at number one. Is he number yep. one? Okay, McNeely so that is Zach. In his in his spot. Second baseman, Mama will be happy. I see her sitting over there in the stands. Looks a little nervous. First pitch to McNeely down in the end of ball. <clears throat> mom is a celebrity. She's in one of our commercials. Carolina Federal Credit Union. You can see Zach's mom. Selling money. <laughs> Selling money. <laughs> However that goes. She's handled both of my car loans, so this I one. appreciate everything she does. Down and away. Two balls, no strikes to Zach McNeely. Hear the phone ringing, somebody checking my dinner plans. <laughs> I plan to eat. 6.30, games moved by along fairly fairly quickly. With yeah, Trevor has, not having any hits. Not point. quite two hours old because we actually started at 4.37. You know, okay. So it's not even quite two hours old yet. We two balls in the strike. We was talking the other day, these uh, high school games go a little bit quicker than the mm. Legion games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're not 30 hits a game. Yeah. Although North Gaston has their share today. Breaking ball on the inside corner, ball. So it wasn't on the inside corner, right? Well, <laughs> yeah, it might have been. <laughs> just because it was, just because it got the ball doesn't mean it didn't yeah, go right, to the plate. Just across the corner for a ball. I understand totally. 3-1 pitch on the way, swung on and missed. And McNeely had a good cut at it, but comes up empty, and now it's 3-2. and two. One out here, terrible down to the last two outs. Been all North Gaston today, 9-0. And the payoff, swing and a miss in the dirt. Catcher applies the tag to get McNeely. So two up, two down here by the way of strikeout. Bridges looks just as effective on the mound as Lowry did through five innings. North Gaston got their pitching together. Ironman not yet quite got their hitting together. Uh, they need to get it, get it together before when they play in tomorrow morning at 11.30. Um, That's tough. Oh, yeah, for weather permitting. I still wouldn't permitting. throw that in there because rain is supposed to roll in, I think, overnight. They're, they're supposed to be playing Randleman. Right. Don't know anything about them. At Crawdag Hickory, Stadium. Crawdag Stadium, Ironman will be playing. It'll be a four-game uh, session tomorrow okay. up there, I think. 1A matchup, then a 2A, 3A, and 4A. Now, the Ironman from here going to Monday, they'll play the Crest Chargers. And uh, we'll have that live broadcast here on the internet and on WCSL 1590 AM. Swing and a miss. And then the next game they travel next Friday night. We're going to be, we're for the most part, we'll be having one game a week. Uh, right. And the next week they'll be against West Lincoln uh, from Cherryville. We will not have that game. We'll have the Crest game. Then the next week we'll be at Burns. Hot shot to third on the ground. Third baseman up with it. Long throw across the diamond. In time to get Harris. And that'll do it, folks. That will do it. No runs, no hits, no errors for Cherryville in the seventh. Your final score today on the Mr. Sparky and Hauser Drug scoreboard. North Gaston, nine runs, 13 hits and an error. Cherryville, no runs, one hit and two errors. North Gaston wins it to improve to two and one. And the Cherryville Ironman fall to 0 and 2. Ironman baseball 
brought to you by RM Motorsport, excuse me, RM Motors on the What's Up Sports Network and WCSL 1590 AM. Take a quick time out, be back with the totals and the players. All, all of our uh, post game awards and our post game show sponsored by Medical Center Pharmacy right after this time.